<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Well, as promised, Danny and I are trying something new. It's goat yoga. <laughs> I know, I'm so, so excited. Fun. Yes, this is so great. So along with our four-legged friends here, hello, little ones. We have <laughs> treats, this is why. Uh, please help us welcome the folks from Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga. We're going to chat and do some yoga all together. This is so excited, so exciting. And uh, we have yes, Heck yes. and Woo. Heck and Jack. Heck and Jack. Heck and Jack. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, they're look at so these little guys. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I have no Okay, idea. I've never done goat yoga. Me I know either. it's a thing. So Raven, I want to ask you, how did this all get started? Like, how did it begin for you guys? Yeah, so <laughs> our owner, he was in the event space field where he was just putting on random events and he decided to do a goat yoga event uh -huh. and he got to see all of the implications for the animals and the people alike it is therapy for both is it really it so even the goats is. benefit from this. oh for sure wow. they they actually have a natural inclination to jump on their mother's back <laughs> and all of our goats are orphans so we're just giving them the childhood they deserve. Oh. That's right. Why do you think this is such a special thing to do? Maybe for people who are <laughs> thinking about trying it. I, I guess it's just communing with nature. I mean, a mm. lot of our yoga poses have to do with animals and are named <laughs> after animals. So doing yoga with animals is just that notch above. It really is. And yes. look, they're behaving pretty pretty good. They are. They're yeah. so yeah. sweet. Well, Brooks, I want to ask you a couple questions, too. So what do people need to do to prepare for goat yoga? Like, are there any requirements or instructions or restrictions? What do we need to know? So we have a, a waiver that we want everyone to sign beforehand mm -hmm. just to protect everything. Um, we ask that you don't pet the goats on their heads. Okay. okay. dog. I'm just doing that. So, uh, yeah, they... They just don't like that. They don't like yeah. that. Okay, that's good to know. That is but you can pet their bellies, and they, they love to be loved on. Oh, they are so uh, We also, I, I'd say dress comfortably. You know, I've had students wear jeans, and they're unable to move as, as freely. So right. dress like you're going to go work out. Totally. Bring water, usually. Yeah. Uh, what else? Bring water for sure. Yeah, water. Yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the big one. Okay. Well, and, so, and also, oh, yeah. it's really important. Uh, we try to protect our vital organs. Uh, in traditional yoga, a lot of asanas are belly up, mm -hmm. and we prefer to protect everything. So poses like this are inviting for the goats. Oh, okay. Uh, so if at any point you want to, to rest or, or just observe, I recommend coming back into this hero position yes. rather than child's pose if you don't want the goats to jump on you. So there's just a little... Okay. modifications yeah. where it's it's very inviting and fun the main requirement is to have fun yes. and and let your your inner child come out and love that. really open <laughs> it your is heart cool. yes. so certain poses will make the goat come to you and like jump on you and stuff yeah oh and this is important too so if you're in this inviting pose and a goat jumps on your back mm -hmm. um, and you're uncomfortable with it if you start to flail around like this the goat's natural inclination is to ground down because they're really good climbers. Oh. Okay. So that might make it a little bit uncomfortable. If you just keep your cool and you, you say that I don't want this goat on my back, we have a wonderful crew that'll come in and herd them off. So. Oh, that's yeah. good. Okay. okay, well, can you show us a few poses yes. and kind of walk us through what we're doing? Sure, yeah, that'd be great. Yo. Okay. All right, let's do it. Should I stay facing this way or turn around? Oh, you can turn around. You can turn around. Yeah, okay. let's Let's follow you, Brooks. All right. We're just going to so, do what you say. <laughs> sure. Here we so, go. So, like I said, we're going to start in hero pose. Okay. And just your feet are flat on the mat. I like to take a moment to just get centered, take a couple breaths. So, deep inhale through your low belly. And then exhale. Inhale. Make sure you're breathing through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Mm. Smile and set a beautiful intention for today's practice. I'm going to encourage you to stay in your practice. It's a good way to look at life. Stay in practice and keep doing the stuff so the goats can work around you. Okay. Hey. All right. Reach up high. Take a big inhale. Exhale and plant your hands on the mat. Spread your knees wide and then sit back for child's pose. We're just gonna stretch and wiggle around. And as you inhale, come up into that tabletop position that we were talking about. So your knees are directly below your hips, your hands directly below your shoulders. Take a big inhale, you drop your low belly and look up at the sky. This is cow pose. 
Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, push away from the mat. Arch your back and look at your belly button. Feel free to move your body freely and, and have fun with this. You might want to fluidly wiggle around. That feels good. It does doesn't it? Nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you just wake everything up. They're having fun too. <laughs> yeah, we usually have music, so <laughs> go through these cat cows. So cow goes moo, cat <laughs> gets mad and arches his back. After you do a couple more rounds of this and you feel complete, let's meet back in a neutral tabletop. So from here, you're gonna take a big inhale. I want you to reach your right arm up high to the sky, maybe wave, and then swipe your hand across your chest, thread the needle through your arm and come down onto your shoulder. Oh, I don't think that I can do oh that one. Oh my gosh. You're doing great. I love it. Well, <laughs> everybody, while they do that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some info on how you can do Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga. They host a series, series of classes and baby goat experiences across the metro area. Well, if you wanna learn more about where and when you can stretch yourself and enjoy the benefits of relaxation with wonderful baby goats, go online to RockyMountainGoatYoga.com and be sure to follow them on social media at Rocky Mountain. Goat yoga.